I call the honourable member Scott Simpson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It's a pleasure indeed to stand in support of this bill, which, as my colleague Jamie Lee Ross has uh, just mentioned, looks like it will have unanimity across the House, and that in itself is a rare and wonderful thing. Sir, the um, uh, speeches tonight, I think, have been generous, uh, meaningful, and from the heart. I've been uh, incredibly impressed with the personal stories of individual members, but also actually impressed with this story about which this bill has been brought to the House by its sponsor, Lewis Wall. And I want to congratulate uh, the member, Lewis Wall, for bringing yet another uh, piece of uh, uh, legislation to the House as a, as a uh, backbench MP myself of uh, very short duration in this House. I am in awe of her ability to bring this sort of stuff to the House in a way that is, I think, unifying and useful to us as a parliament and to us as a democracy in New Zealand. Sir, uh, following the Marriage Definition uh, Amendment Act uh, of last year, same-sex couples are, of course, able to marry, and therefore uh, they are now able to jointly apply to adopt children. And, sir, had that been the case for Diane Sullivan and Doreen Shields, uh, and they had been able to legally marry, then they, they would have been able to, of course, adopt Rowan. Now, um, if that had occurred, then this bill would not be required. Uh, sir, in a previous life, uh, before coming to this Parliament, I had the uh, great privilege uh, and pleasure to be CEO of a children's charity called Make-A-Wish. And so I was for about three years, sir, a professional wish granter. And uh, that, let me tell you, is a uh, terrific uh, thing to be able to do. And in my maiden speech to this House, I uh, uh, mentioned that one of the challenges I saw for myself in this House was to be able to, in some way, uh, bring the uh, job skills and transfer of knowledge from my role as a professional wish granter into this chamber. And, sir, tonight I have a small sense of having achieved a little bit of that by being a participant in this debate and indeed having uh, been a member of this House as we pass uh, the second reading of this bill. So I mentioned also uh, when I was speaking in my maiden speech about being a professional wish granter for Make-A-Wish that uh, one should never underestimate the power of some magic, uh, the power of a wish and the power of small things, small deeds, small actions to have enormous important impact upon the lives of individuals. And, sir, tonight I think we are, as I say, having a small sense of that. So uh, this is a private member's bill. I'm grateful to my colleague, the member Jamie Lee Ross, for giving us a little bit of history about private members' uh, bills, because, indeed, the House would be sitting under extended urgency very frequently if the old rules still applied. Um, Sir, I want to thank members of the Select Committee who have considered the bill. Uh, chaired by the Honourable Ruth Dyson, I, uh, of course, did not have an opportunity to sit on the bill, but I was particularly taken by speeches earlier on in the debate from members who did participate uh, in the uh, uh, consideration of the bill after first reading. And I note with interest that they have made a number of uh, modest but significant and important changes. The Government Administration Committee uh, has made a number of recommendations, uh, and one of them was to change the title of the bill, uh, uh, and that seems entirely appropriate given the circumstances and the unique uh, features uh, of the situation that exists relating to Rowan's situation. So the title of the bill, as introduced, the Sullivan Birth Certificate Bill, uh, was likely to be have, uh, have been interpreted as a little bit misleading, and, uh, uh, and so the uh, suggested change is one that I support, and I think that the committee has yet again uh, uh, shown its willingness and ability to get its head around um, uh, difficult issues. Uh, previously, they've had to consider issues of very major significance to a great number of people. On this occasion, they have been considering a difficult but problematic issue for just one family, and in particular one individual. And, sir, living as we do in a small, precious, intimate democracy, it's a great pleasure to see Parliament working as it should to achieve this piece of legislation, and I commend it thoroughly to the House.
Um, Carol Beaumont. Rises the last.